I hope you're all well. Um, sorry I've not posted uh, things for quite a while. Um, been really busy, but some great news. I am just on the way down to Park Farm down in Somerset to do four days of squirrel shooting. Um, this is part one of the journey. I'm just, um, I don't know where I am actually. I think I've just come through Chesterfield. So it's about a four and a half, four and a half hour drive from Doncaster right, um, down to um, Brougham or North Broom, I believe it is in Somerset. Um, so I'm going to try and um, video most of the obviously trip and get some good footage for you. So I hope you all enjoy this and I'll see you all soon. So guys, I have just arrived to um, Park Farm Cottage in Somerset and I've had a good chat with Ro and he's very kindly put um, a load of peanuts out for me that I sent down um, four weeks before so I'm just going to have a quick walk around now because it's about five-ish I believe, smart. so I'll have a quick walk around, check all the feeders, see if there's anything about and then um, get up at bright and early in the morning and hopefully get into the action now my first day tomorrow on um, Saturday I'm going to be using the FX Dreamline Classic with uh, Nico still in Panamax like always Sports Match Mount and that's got a little hook on I've been um, getting some really good groups with this I've just zeroed it in um, before I come about 25 yards because most of the feeders are around about 25 yards so we'll see how um, so that does it. it's been getting 5 pence piece groups anyway out to 30 40 yards been using the um, field and target trophies in this it seems to like them for some reason tried uh, QISs, JSBs um, some other ones H and some other H&N so if you guys um, know of any other pellets that they might like I'm willing to give it a go and see how I get on with that but at the minute I'm going to start using the uh, H&N uh, field and target trophies so I'll um, see you all again bright and early in the morning, cheers guys right, first morning um up at Park Farm, I've just woke up, it's half past six, I'm just going to go and sit under the Hollywood tree feeder and sit, have a few hours under there, so I'm just going to make a quick coffee, get the flask packed up and go and see what we can get, so see you all soon. I'm just under the Hollybush feeder and I've been here for um, three hours now and I've had five shots. I've had a pigeon, a wood pigeon, um, a crow and I've had three squirrels. So it's not a bad morning so far. I'm going to nip back and get um, a quick sandwich in a minute but before I do, um, I just want to talk you through the kit. So I'm using my FX um, Dreamline Classic in the GRS um, mountain camo stock and I've got a hug it silencer on the end um, and I'm using my uh, sports match mounts these are high ones due to the um, size the high capacity magazine that the FX's have and I've all, well, always used the Nico Panamax um, for the, the hunting scope that I use and I've got this using um, the Tacticam 5.0 for the footage now I've also got my Primos Gen 2 trigger sticks in here um, just to give me a bit more support and I'm using a Nighthawk pop-up hide um, 
for me because I did actually want to sit in um, the holly bush that I did last, no, sorry, two years ago. Um, it's still there, but this year, um, what I've found out is the um, the gamekeeper, I've spoke to the gamekeeper and he's basically um, keeping quite a few of the feeders topped up. I'll show you some of the feeders in a minute. Um, and also Ro very kindly um, tops up the um, feeding stations, the school feeding stations that I normally shoot at with peanuts. But I think because the, um, the pheasant feeders have obviously been kept topped up um, quite regular since the shooting season ended, that all the squirrels seem to be going to the pheasant feeders for the, for the grain instead of the peanuts. Now, what I've had to do is um, I've chosen a location um, that I can see both um, the pheasant feeder from shooting forward out the hide and um, also to my left I've got the peanut feeder so if I have to I can swing around and shoot at both which is pretty good having two feeding stations from one location as well you don't normally get that um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, basically go back get some lunch and come back this afternoon again and have a few more hours Oh, there's a hen pheasant just coming down to the feeder. Um, got to leave them alone. And then um, I'll come back and have a few more hours and see, see how I get on this afternoon. But yeah, that's not a bad morning. I'm pretty pleased with that. And thanks for watching, guys. So this is where I've located the pop-up hide. And if you can just see through there, that's one of the feeders. That's where the peanuts are. And then just over the little stream there is a pheasant feeder. So that's where they've all been going to them the two locations. And just up there is where the holly bush hide is. So as you can see that's really that's too close to the pheasant feeder, that's only about what five or six yards if that. So I've moved over here which is about probably twenty-five maybe 30 and then it's probably about 30 yard definitely to, to that feeder so yeah that's it that's the view from the other side of the stream where the hide is sitting well the pop-up hide is sitting all right so the, obviously all the squirrels are coming down to collect all this grain from the pheasant feeder it's what they've been used to over the last few few months rather than peanuts, so it looks like we have to target these pheasant feeders. I think this says there's four or five around um, that are still feeding, so I want to give this one another go this afternoon if this, if this wind dies down a little bit, hopefully, um, and then I'll do another one tomorrow for part two. Right, so I'm back in the hide again for part two, or the afternoon of the squirrel shoot um, down at the holly bush hide, and um, it's, about, it's about half past three. I'm probably going to get to about six and then I'm going to go back and get some tea and have a bite to eat and a drink and possibly do some um, rat shooting later on tonight. So I'll try and get some footage of that. So let's see um, how many we get this afternoon.
Right, so I'm calling it a day now. Um, I had a great morning and afternoon and on the squirrels down in the Hollybush High, down at Park Farm. Uh, the FX formed flawlessly, as always, you know. I mean, FX have got renowned for being great guns anyway. Um, it's the first time I've had a, <coughs> a Dreamline and I love it in that GRS stock. Thanks to Rich over at More Edges for um, sorting that out for me. So, in total, I got eight. I managed to pick seven. So there they are. Um, the last one just couldn't get it in two deep vegetation, and the pigeon. I don't know where. I can't. I can't seem to find that either. And then um, the crow. I missed. I must have missed the crow, to be honest. But you know, you have them days. So eight squirrels. Um, one pigeon and probably a couple of misses on the squirrels maybe I'll have to look back through the footage but um, a couple of misses maybe and then also um, a miss crow but I'm quite happy with day one it's gonna go it's gone really well I'm gonna try and get out on the rats tonight hopefully and uh, if the, that's if the wind and weather stays all right for Hurricane Catherine don't come and knock it all on head um, and then I'm going to go over to location number two tomorrow morning and do the same again. I'm going to have a morning, come back, get some lunch, then have a couple of hours and then go back over there in the afternoon again. Um, totally different setup. There's no pheasant feeder over at location number two. It's just a peanut feeder. But when I checked yesterday, the peanuts had gone down because you could see all the peanut shells on the floor. Um, I don't know what kind of bag I'm going to get. I might only get a couple or I might get 10. I don't know. But anyway. I'll see you all tomorrow guys and thank you for watching this video of my first day down at Park Farm. Cheers guys.